Hello, Buzzercuts, my name is Hotsasi and welcome back to Belt Lies Factory, where we do everything with trains and rail and inserters. Last time we uh, set up a small production here for solar panels and uh, accumulators. It's coming along nicely, but I think we will let that produce a little while longer while we address an other problem that we have aside from uh, running out of fuel constantly um, last time we built this uh, plastic production and i was wondering do we need a waiting bay do we don't we need one and uh, after observing the whole thing a bit we do need one but of a slightly different cut we don't need it for the plastic but for the coal because we have i think three coal trains going here and occasionally they can deadlock um, because of issues so what i think we can do is uh, have another waiting bay here we will do this one uh, vertically to uh, mix things up a bit um, uh, which probably means we cannot completely uh, fill it in because we still have the iron uh, ore patch there but i think should be good if we can access it from the left and exit to the left or to the right uh, we don't need this lane up and down here and then we basically can have a waiting bay before the coal field and uh, that is then basically uh, just a timed station uh, where they maybe wait a second and then try to go to the coal field but if the coal field is occupied um, they will never make it there so let's see we need that we need it returned this way we want to have the exit on the down side um, which means we want to have a bit of cliff explosives uh, here on the other side uh, we can get rid of the stone already because we would need to do that anyway uh, for the for the for the mining drills and up here we have a few more cliffs in the way and then i can set up who there in the middle there we have also some and i can set this up and um, uh, we can get rid of this part there will be no train line going through here and then we can actually set up the coal trains properly to actually avoid the problem that we have the waiting bay is done so now we can head over to our trains and say okay before you go to the coal field uh, go to the waiting coal field that's down here somewhere 
Waiting, 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 waiting. Coalfield. Mm, let's see if this works without a condition. Um, again, the second one, coal fill is at the top. And we can have the waiting coal field at the bottom. And the third one. Waiting coal field at the bottom and we will see how that turns out. Um, yeah. Let's have the first train going here. And when it arrives here, we should see it waiting here with the, with the uh, thing flashing yeah wants to go there but the station is occupied so destination full nice and we can stack up to uh four trains there so now let's see how we do with uh, a bit of um, supplementary power production um, we can do that uh, down here and I think if we do it this way we can then basically have this pattern going and have the next one there and that should give us quite a nice supplement of uh, power uh, at least throughout the day and uh, maybe the accumulators will also help out a bit during the night. Nice. And here accumulators we have the pattern two, break two, break two, break. And I will do that until I run out of um, solar panels and accumulators um, and then we shall see what use plastic is if we look at the power production during the daytime we can see that uh, we cover more than half of our need with solar panels and we have not even placed all uh, of them that we have space for just in the waiting bay areas. Uh, of course, we are thoroughly lacking accumulators. However, as we currently have an overproduction anyway, even with uh, uh, the steam engines alone, um, even during night time, we don't uh, take charge from the accumulators but now here in this square that's where we will uh, move on with the next project and you might guess it uh, if you uh, play at least occasionally factorio uh, when you do plastic the next thing is red circuits and for red circuits we need three input materials uh, in the ratio uh, two for two or we can simplify that to one to one and uh, 
this being a three input uh, setup, uh, we will need um, uh, three input factory. And hmm, I think we do it in this orientation just to mix things up a bit. We do have a few poles in the way, but basically God should do it. So let's add this pole and that pole, then we can remove this one. Can uh, you should not move poles when on the rail line. All right. Um, I will fix that, uh, put in the factory and, um, then we can see about the trains and how to set them up. Isn't that looking nice? So hopefully it also works nice. Uh, I think we need one radar down here. Uh, we uh, have everything covered. And then let's set up a train. Um, I have no coal. So, oh, let's first fix this. We need copper wires. 2000. Those stack to 200, so that's basically one row here. And then we need half the amount of uh, plastic bar. They only stack to 100, so that's another row of plastic. I think. And then we have the green circuits they stack again to 200, so that's half a row. And then the rest we fill up with fish, so nothing more is inserted there. And then we have to see how to set up the train schedule. Here we go, last fish. Then let's go to copper wire loading one. Uh, we load copper wires until we have one thousand and then we go to the loading station two we load copper wires until we have two thousand then we go to um Let's load the plastic first. Plastic pickup. Um, item count. Plastic. Until we have 500. And that enables us to go to the second pickup and load another 500. Mm 
like this. Which means then we go to the green circuits pickup and load green circuits. Um, for 500 and then green circuits 2 where we load more green circuits what is the price until we reach total of 1000 then we shall go to Fueling station. Wait five seconds there. Then we go to red circuits delivery. And wait until we only have one thousand. Uh, this way and we go to circuit delivery 2 where we have uh, empty cargo empty cargo or inactivity for two minutes um, Let's make that one minute. Right. Okay, then. Um, let's think first. Uh, no, 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 no. That will not work. We will add the fueling station at the end. because issues if we have it at the fueling station and we do not have enough items to load a train so all the loading stations are inactive the train will just sit there and that's no good so uh, I had to re-pipe the pipe and apparently I did it wrong. Uh, copper feel is still looking good. Um, and I will steal two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And then we can fuel the train. Yeah, I know that train has no fuel. That's why I'm running along. So. And yeah, you probably should go there. Question is, why is this train up? Ah, that's the unloading. The loading. These ones are all disabled because currently we don't have any use uh, where we would need red circuits. But I'm sure we will figure something out in uh, due time. Uh, and due time, that's probably next episode. In the meantime, I will spend the time refueling more miners and furnaces here, as well as probably 
replacing a few more solar panels and accumulators um, so we have even more power to waste hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, don't forget to tune in next time for beltless factorio goodbye